Hi guys, welcome to my channel. If this is the first time that you're seeing my face, my name is Alicia. I intend on creating educational videos mainly and motivational. Yeah, but anyway, um, without rambling on too much, today's video is going to be how I got a scholarship to sixth form. Um, so it's to a private school um, called Cole School. And I'm just going to talk a little bit about how I found the scholarship. Then secondly, the application process. Okay, so um, I remember when I was at um, state school, I was at Prendergast Ladywell School, I was searching for sixth forms to apply to. I didn't necessarily want to go to Prendergast sixth form, so I was looking for other sixth forms that I could go to. The way I was doing this, I was just Googling like the top sixth forms in the area and within London and just going through a sort of process like that, making a list seeing if they offered the A-levels that I wanted to do and sort of discussing with my dad if he, I don't know, was okay with those schools. So I remember I came across Cole School in the IT room and I literally fell in love with the website. It was like a really cool video. It just looked so cool. It looked massive. It was so mesmerizing. And I was like, yes, this is a one. I really need to apply to go there. And then I saw a section that said fees. And I was like, huh? And then I was like, oh my gosh, it's a private school. I was so upset because I was like, oh my gosh, no way. Like I've literally fell in love with this school. I haven't even been there yet, but I was like, I fell in love with this school and I can't go because it's a private school. And I remember one of my teachers was asking like why I'm upset. And I showed them the website. I was like, I really want to go here, miss, but I can't because obviously I can't afford um, to go there. And then they told me, I think, um, um, this school has some sort of connection to that private school and that there's a way that you can get a scholarship and funding to go there and my mood switched like so quickly I was so happy so they told me the relevant teachers that I needed to speak to and I think I ran there immediately and I was talking to them about it and then I think I spoke to head teacher as well and I was talking to him about it and they were just telling me um, a bit more about it and funnily enough at the time that I come across the school the application sort of deadline was in like literally like four days from that day so i was really scared so i literally cut off all my friends for those four days i didn't go on my phone i just revised really hard because i really wanted to go there i sat down with my teachers and they helped me sort of prepare a little bit for the test that was how i found out about it so i'll now move on to the next section of the video and this is the application process for um, the scholarship to sixth form how the application worked is there's three parts that they looked at a test so an entrance examination an interview with the headmaster and then they'll look at your gcse results the fourth thing was there was a teacher reference so i asked my favorite teacher to write me this um okay so first part was entrance exam like i said it was four days from when i found out about the um, scholarship and how the exam worked there was a math section the non-verbal reasoning section and then there was like an essay section it was quite quick fire quite tricky to be honest and i remember walking into that um exam hall and there were so many people that were applying to go to the sixth form hundreds and hundreds of people like i'd just never seen so many people in an exam hall before i don't know how they managed to fit us all in to be honest and I sat down, I was really nervous because sometimes I really just don't do well under pressure. I guess we all have to admit our weaknesses and that's mine. Like, I just don't really do that well in exam pressure sometimes, especially those sort of exams that you can't really prepare for. You can probably find like practice tests for that online um, because I'm pretty sure that's the same for all sort of applications to private schools and grammar schools, any schools that you're examined, um, whether you can get in or not, you have to do a test, don't you? And it always has non-verbal reasoning. Is that a pattern? Yes. Yeah. It's like us. <laughs> it's so hard, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's like, I don't know if it's like to test your IQ, but it's like patterns and stuff. The essay was about Brexit because that's just what was on at the time. So definitely a tip if you're doing a scholarship application to Sixth Form, stay informed about what's going on in the world. So watch the news, read newspapers, read The Economist, like definitely stay informed. Hi guys, it's editing Alicia here. I just wanted to say that hopefully you picked up from the gist of this section of the video that you don't have to be a sort of genius and whiz through the test to get into the school because 
I got into the school without necessarily doing um, that well in the test. So play to your strengths. I know that I'm really good at writing essays. So I made sure that I was up to date with the news so that I could focus on performing well in that section. Also, if you have the opportunity to, try and make an impression with the teachers by visiting an open day, because that definitely helped me. I feel like watching this back, um, I've made it sound like the test was absolutely awful. Some of my friends, like my best friend, found the test really easy and got into the school immediately. So I guess it just depends on how well you do in pressure. But I'm also going to put in um, a website here that I used to practice from. And this is also just good for GCSE revision as well. Yeah, so that was the test. Um, I came out of the test, pretty sure I cried. As always, I always cry, you'll find out on this channel. <laughs> Um, I cried, I was really upset. I told my dad, I'm not getting in, I'm not getting in. It was so difficult, da, da, da. I crumbled. And then the interviews came around and I did actually get through to the interview stage. So the interview was with the headmaster. I really love the headmaster at Coast, can't lie. The interview was really short, like 10 to 20 minutes. And he told me that basically um, my test was <laughs> I can't swear, can I? <laughs> my test was rubbish, that's the same. Yeah, he just said it straight how it is. He said the essay was good, but everything else was just quite diabolical, to be honest. He said the reason he interviewed me is because he knows that, um, you know, I was the only person to apply from that state school in so long. And also I had met him previously on the open day. So when I went to visit the school on the open day, I, this was when I fell in love with it even more, actually. I was so overwhelmed that day um, at just how nice it was and how big it was and just so different to state schools. Yeah, I, I made sure to go up to him and talk to him to sort of leave an impression. So that's why I got the interview. And what he told me is work hard for my GCSEs. And if I get four eights, um, that there should be a place for me. So, I mean, I took that as, yeah, I'm not getting in. Whereas my dad, he's a really positive person. He said, no, just work hard. You have got in, just not right now. Um, like he just wants you to work hard for your grades and that's exactly what it was. I worked really hard for my GCSE grades, um, especially because I wanted to go to, to Colfs. Again, I sort of locked off my friends a little bit. Um, I still I still was friends with them, but I just talked to them a bit less and um, social media is a big distraction for me. So I, I kind of cut that out as well. Actually, my dad is quite strict. I'm pretty sure he confiscated my phone to remove that sort of distraction. Got the GCC grades I needed. I got four nines, four eights and one seven. And yeah, I went to a course. I drove there with my dad on resorts day and essentially I got in. I was very happy. Cried again. <laughs> The whole purpose of me filming this video was to raise awareness of scholarships because I didn't even sort of know that that was an option. I was just immediately heartbroken when I saw the school and thought that I can't go there. So search for scholarships um, near you definitely and also ask your teachers because that can go a long way as you um, see with my sort of story. Another tip is um, start looking very early on. So this would have been in the very start of year 11. I'm pretty sure most deadlines for private schools is December. So you want to start looking around literally September. Go into year 11 and hit the ground running. My next video is on how I got a scholarship to LSE, which is the university that I'm currently at. Then if you're interested, I'll do another video on um, the benefits of going to private schools, so sort of private school versus state school video. If that's something that you're interested in seeing, um, please like or comment below um, and subscribe so you don't miss videos like that and other exciting videos in the future. Thank you, bye!